like that song that says i am the one that you have shown mercy you have shown mercy you have shown mercy I am the one that you have shown mercy. You have shown mercy. Lord, you have shown mercy. When I look back and say, I am the one that you have shown mercy. Help me sing, yeah. Lord, you have shown mercy. Sing, I am the one, I am the one, sir. I am the one that you have shown mercy. Lord, you have shown mercy. I lift my voice and say, yeah. Oh, I am the one, I am the one, sir. I am the one that you have shown mercy. Mercy, you have shown mercy. I'm standing here today. It's by the mercy, Lord. I am the one, I am the one, sir. I am the one that you are. You have shown mercy. You are. I love you, Lord. I give it up to you. This one says, You made a way. Ah, you made a way. You made a way. You made, you made a way. You, 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 you made a way. All the way from January, you made a way. You Say you made a way, you, you made a way. When my back, when my back went against the wall, and the fluke I seen it was all about you. All the way you pass what you want. Yes, Lord, you perform miracles. And there is not a reason that's impossible. But the books are high. I'm standing there and I'm standing there only because you. God 
has given you victory. If you know God has given you victories, come and open your mouth and shout hallelujah. 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 That song says you gave me great victories. Hallelujah. You are standing here today because of the victories that the Lord has given unto you. Let's go. on the screen. Hallelujah. Can we have it on the screen? Girl, you gave to me great victories anointed me with a faith in love the help of love has made me great You are the one who saved me from my foes so the team So when the rest from a choir, you get to me, sir. You get to me, great victory. I'm going to tell me we don't fail in love. Your apple love has made me great. Say, you're the one who saved me from my foes. So the So in the rain, 
January, February, March. Go ahead, April, and for bringing you into this month of May. I just want you to return all the glory unto Him. Return all the glory unto Him, giving thanks. Show gratitude this morning. I'd like you to show gratitude to God. Your Maker, the one who has kept you, His mercy kept us. Go ahead, go ahead. Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you adoration. We bless your name. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the worship in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. I want you to pray. Say, Father, this month, pleasantly surprise me. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead, pray, pray. Father, this month I ask, please pleasantly surprise me. Surprise me in all areas of my life. Pleasantly, Lord, surprise me. In the name of Jesus. Please pleasantly surprise us as a church. As a people, pleasantly surprise us. As a nation, pleasantly surprise us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to pray, say, Father, this very month, open a new chapter of glory in my life, in the lives of my children, in my business, in my job, in my career, in this church, in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray, Father, open a new chapter of glory, a new chapter of grace in my life. In this church, the lives of my children, in the lives of our children in this church, in the lives of our elders, in the law, in the lives of our young ones, 
in the mighty name of Jesus open a new chapter thank you father lord we give you all the praise in jesus mighty name we pray Amen. what do you want the lord to do for you this month i'd like you to pray he's here right now he's here the lord is here go ahead begin to talk to him whatever it is that you want god to do for you this month and whatever you want to do for god also i want you to ask the lord make a commitment say father give me the grace to do this this month for you and lord do this jesus this man do this for me lord i trust that you can do it because you are reliable thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray we shall take the hymn now as we wait to connect to the national headquarters. Let's take our hymn now. Amazing Grace. Hallelujah. Amazing Grace.
Praise God. Please let us have a seat. Let someone shout hallelujah. I believe and I know that we are all looking good. And um, as I'm saying, we are looking so gorgeous in the presence of the Lord. That Lord will answer all our prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. It is time for our testimony before Daddy Joe come out. So, testimony time. Testimony time. Ah, why are we so cool? <laughs> Praise the Lord. And his word has assured us that they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. If you are a testifier in the house this morning, please can you indicate by raising up your hand? Please, we have to do it so sharply. Please. Testify in the house. Uh, are we now saying the Lord is not good to us? Hallelujah. Our mommy one. Okay. Stand number two. Our mommy OT three. Okay. Daddy four. Please, where is the mic? Please. Hallelujah. Okay. Mommy, please. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I was wondering why, why, whether I should give this testimony now or wait for the fullness of everything. I just want to give God the glory. I was, well, we're trusting God for something to come out and it was taking like forever. And then because we have done it the right way that we thought it should be done, it was seeming to be, ah, why did you do it that way? Ah, and, ah, you know, but I just want to thank God because we, I, I told God, I remember coming to this altar and I was praying, I said before the end of April, I want those things out. And the Lord did it, I think the last day of April or the day before of last, the Lord intervened and we have them. I give God all the Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That everlasting arm of God will keep on opening the door of greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God for his grace that has brought us into this uh, special month. It's a special month for us in our family because three of us are celebrating our birthdays. Amen. So just mm. return all the glory to God. You know, I can't remember when I was born, but when I was having my second daughter, it was a testimony because mm. we spent the whole day going around the, uh, the, the hospitals were on strike. I just thank God because even at that time, he gave me calmness. Mm. Until the following day that I had the baby, at least. I, I experienced people that died out of uh, high blood pressure in delivery or, and all that. So I thank God that throughout the period that we're going up and down, he kept me calm and he brought forth his daughter. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tears of joy will not cease in your home in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. God has really remembered my family, my brother and my sister. On Sunday, my sister came to my place on Sunday. She said um, she was just praising God and singing in her room. The children came to her, she, um, as in they were like asking, her, Mommy, what happened? She said, I don't know. I just feel like praising God. So she said on Monday when she got to work, they gave her promotion. Amen. So I thank God for that. Hallelujah. And also my brother, who is a doctor in Abuja, Actually, he didn't tell me, but he was just saying that he need, a, he need money, that I should lend him money. So I said, for what? I said, but this money is too much now. He said, don't worry, I will give you back. So he, as he, I think he was hiding it for my sisters and me. He don't want to tell anybody. So I said, okay, well, I believe you. You will give me back. So I gave him the money. So I think it was this day, um, last week he was telling me, he said, I've traveled out. So I want to bless the name of God. God has been so faithful mm -hmm. to my family. He has been so good. He has been so lovely to them. I give God all the glory. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord will continue to lift you up in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to testify to the goodness of God in my life and that of my family. Uh, I, last week, I embarked on a trip. It turns out to be an area where there is usual anxiety of kidnapping and what have you, accident, kidnapping. But God has been so faithful that I embarked on that trip 
I went safe and I came back safe. Hallelujah. I want to return all the glory to God. Only God could have done it. Hallelujah. The Lord will continue to preserve his own in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to give my own testimony to the glory of God. My name is Benga Olan Lokum. Uh, I want to thank the Almighty God for the salvation of my soul. I am out here to return all the glory to God on behalf of this church. Mm -hmm. um, looking at what God has done for us in the past few months, um, it's been great. It's been glorious. God has indeed been faithful to us as a parish. Mm -hmm. And so, on behalf of every member of the church, we want to say glory be to his name forevermore Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. for favors, Amen. for supplies, Amen. you know, provisions in different ways, um, making ways for us. Uh, God has just been awesome. Amen. And I know that he will do more for us, Amen. even as individuals, as members of this church, Amen. and as, uh, as a church, a parish, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, all the testifiers, please, can you just stand up as we pray? Ah, Daddy, we bless you, Lord. Everlasting King of glory, we worship you, Lord. Father, Lord, as a church, Lord, we say thank you, Lord. As an individual for your sons and your daughter, Lord, Father, Lord, we say thank you, Lord, for everything you have done for them, for safe journey, for promotion. Father, Lord, for lifting them up and added also years, Lord, of joy, of greatness unto them, Lord. Father, be there exalted, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, King of glory, we pray, Lord, as they have testified, Lord. Father, more greater things, Lord, shall you do in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, King of glory, any evil forces, Lord, I want to stand against them, Lord, because of their, they have testified in your house, Lord. Father, Lord, King of glory, we destroy it by fire, by thunder, in our mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, for those people, Lord, Father, that are looking unto you, Father, to testify in your house, Lord. Ancient of day, Lord, we pray, Lord. Father, Lord, by this time, Lord, next week, Lord. Father, give them, Lord, a things, Lord, to come here and testify to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, you have made this church, Lord, a church of testimony, Lord. Father, testimony will not cease in your house in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall continue to preserve and protect us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, bless your Redeemer. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we pray. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It's time to bless the Lord with our substance. Let's turn our Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 9. 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Okay. Verses 6 to 7. It says, But this I say, He which soweth sparingly shall also reap sparingly. And it he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Verse 7. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly or out of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's package our offerings, our tithes. Let's package our tithes and our offerings and let's pray over it. Our tithes are offering the project, building project offering. Let's leave our Thanksgiving envelope. Let's put it aside. We'll take that later. But our tithes, offerings, church projects, offering. Let's pray over them. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. So if you have your tithes with you, please dance forward. As we read, God loves a cheerful giver. Mm. Please dance forward with your tithes. Yes. 
right? Yes. Choir. Yes. I said, obey shuku. At obey shuku. At obey shuku. He has done it for me. Since obey shuku. So obey shuku. At so obey shuku. Oh, obey shuku. He has done it for me. So obey, so obey, so shuku. So obey shuku. I give up praise so that you could be a son for me. Yes. So, Bechuku, indeed, you have done it for us. Father, we want to say thank you for this, your children that have understanding of Titan. As they have honored you by bringing their tithes into your house, we pray that you honor them in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Ah, they shall eat the good of this land in the mighty name of Jesus. Allah will show up for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, the Lord will rebuke devourers for their sake. He will make them a delightsome land in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will pour out his blessings upon them and their families in the mighty name of Jesus. By the reason of the time, the Lord shall remember them. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen.
If you want your children to be greater than you, shout another hallelujah. Let us pray. I have a father, almighty father, he is king of kings and lord of lords. I have a father, hallelujah, I have a father, hallelujah. Father of all fathers, the almighty God, the King of glory, accept our worship in Jesus' name. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. And thank you for May. Accept our worship in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for our children. Thank you for the teenagers. Thank you for the youth. Thank you for the young adults. Thank you for their parents. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, please bless our children. Bless the youth. Bless the young adults and bless every one of us and lord god almighty we are praying for all those who have been faithful in the payment of their tithes and the giving of their offerings this month of may embarrass them with your blessings until they will say father this is too much just keep on blessing them and lord god almighty we commit all these children into your hands. They are our future, O oh Lord. Please let it be well with them. Let our future be all right. And I pray that everyone here today, whatever may be their problems, wherever they are that are connecting with this service today, solve the problems today. In this month of May, Father, let us find grace with you. Let's find favor with you. Let's find favor with men. And Lord, we pray that by the end of the service today, we will all be shouting for joy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And let someone shout hallelujah. I want you to shake hands with one or two people, prophesy to them, and say, you know, my tomorrow will be all right. And then you may please be seated. God bless you. We go quickly to a message. If, for those of you who are watching, all over the world, if the service seems to be a bit uh, delayed today, it's because this is a special service for special people. Uh, <laughs> Psalm 102, Psalm 102, verse 13. Psalm 102, verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion. Uh, let me re read that one in my own way. Thou shalt arise and have mercy on us. 
for the time to favor us. Yea, the set time is come. All right. God has a timetable for everything. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 to 8. Ecclesiastes 3 from verse 1 to 8 tells us God has a time set for everything, a time to be born, a time to die, uh, a time to marry, a time to graduate from school, etc., etc. There's a time for everything. And then according to Daniel chapter 2, from verse 20 to 22, Daniel 2, 20 to 22, the Bible made it clear, God controls times and seasons. In other words, yes, he has a set time for everything, but he's the almighty God, he controls times and seasons. For example, when you read Luke chapter 1 from verse 1 to 37, Luke 1 from verse 1 to 37, you will discover that uh, a very holy family, Zechariah and his wife, completely blameless, were barren. And they remained barren until six months before Jesus Christ was born. Why? Because God has made up his mind that the firstborn in that family will be only six months older than Jesus Christ. God controls times and seasons. But when the set time comes, when the time God has made up his mind to bless you or favor you comes, everything will begin to happen rapidly. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4, Acts 2 from verse 1 to 4, the Bible says, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, suddenly, as the next word that followed, suddenly. And I'm confident that there is someone here today, suddenly your miracles will begin. In Luke chapter 5, you can read it from verse 1 to 11. Luke 5 from verse 1 to 11 is the story of Peter who fished all night, caught nothing. Jesus entered his boat, preached from there, told him uh, where to fish, and then he had his boat overflowing with fish. After which Jesus Christ then said to him, all right, you no longer fish for fish, you'll be fishing for men. For three and a half years after that, Peter didn't catch a single soul for God. Why? Because the set time had not come. But by the time you read Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, Read it from verse 1 to 41, Acts 2 from verse 1 to 41. The moment the set time came, he preached a single sermon and won 3,000 souls. What he had not been able to achieve for three and a half years, he achieved it in a day. I have good news for somebody. All your efforts that had appeared to be fruitless up to now, the reward will come suddenly. (laughs) 
when the set time comes, things happen rapidly. For example, in 1 Samuel chapter 16, from verse 1 to 13, 1 Samuel 16 from verse 1 to 13, the Bible tells us when God decided he needed a king, and he sent Samuel to the house of Jesse, and uh, Papa Jesse began to bring forth his children. But the one that God had in mind was in the bush. When God has said no to the seven that, that were presented, and the man of God asked, is there anyone else? And the father reluctantly said, there is one, but uh, it's only fit for looking after animals. A man of God said, we will not sit down until you bring him. When your day comes, anybody who wants to stand in your way, the Almighty God will make them restless. I can give you several other examples. I can give you, for example, the, the, the case of Joseph. When he was a very young boy, God had shown him, you are going to be a ruler of men. Years passed. His brothers hated him. They threw him into a pit, they sold him into slavery, uh, while in slavery, because he refused to compromise, uh, he was thrown to jail. God was patient. It was as if God had forgotten what he had shown this little boy. But when a set time came, he was sleeping in prison, and the king was sleeping in the palace. And God gave the king a dream that troubled him. Within 24 hours, the prisoner became prime minister because the set time came. Oh. You may not believe it, but before the end of this month, somebody will sing a new song. Now, now Jesus is the Alpha and Omega. Revelation chapter 1, verse 8. Revelation 1, verse 8 says, is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the ending, the one who was, the one who is, the one who is to come, the Almighty. So all times meeting him. And like we learned at the Holy Ghost service on Friday, he can bring the future to the present. It's everlasting arms can go to your future and bring it to the present. I mean, like the examples we gave you on Friday, John chapter 2 from verse 1 to 11, John 2 from verse 1 to 11, in, in the wedding in Canaan of Galilee, he told his mother, my time to perform miracles has not yet come. But in less than one hour, the time came because he brought the future to the present. In Matthew 15, from verse 21 to 28, Matthew 15, uh, engineer, this thing is echoing. And I don't expect that one today. Not after what we did between last month and now. 
In Matthew 15, from 21 to 28, a woman that God regarded as a dog got a miracle. Why? Because she knew how to stretch to the future and bring the future to the present. Yes, God has a set time. But if you know what to do, even if today is not your set time, today can become your set time. You can influence him. It all depends on how serious you are. That's why this sermon is going to be very brief. It's a sermon you must never forget. It's a sermon you must remember for the rest of your life. There are some of us whose miracles cannot wait till tomorrow. Are you one of them? In Genesis 32, from verse 24 to 28, Genesis 32, from verse 24 to 28, when Jacob knew he was going to meet Esau tomorrow, and he knew that Esau had sworn to kill him because of the issue of uh, who got to watch blessing and whatnot. He knew that the problem in his life must be settled that very night. It's no question of waiting till tomorrow. So he prayed, like some of you are going to do today. He wrestled with an angel. The angel said to him, let me go. He said, you can't go anywhere until you have blessed me. Someone is not going to leave the church today until, until he or she has been blessed. He wrestled and won. The following morning by Genesis 33 from verse 1 to 4, Genesis 33 from verse 1 to 4, the one who was coming to kill him, God has touched his heart. He saw him, embraced him. The killer became a friend. You know, the Bible says in Matthew 11, verse 12, Matthew 11, verse 12, he says, Since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. The violence take it by force. No, I can't remember what which of the philosophers said. Don't wait for your boat to come to shore. Go out there into the sea and drag it in. I believe God brought us together today to change our lives drastically, to bring the future to the present by force, by force of faith. By force of prayer. Yeah. I'll tell you just one story and I'm closing. Years ago, there was this young man. I think he was a graduate. He had applied and applied and applied. Many of the people would not even bother to reply. And he made up his mind. I'm going to enter into serious battle with God himself. It was Holy Ghost Friday. There are no money, nothing. They said I would be at the Holy Ghost service. When I get there, 
I'm going to wrestle with God until I get my results. So my, my time must come now. So he woke up very early in the morning. Some of the elders will remember. And trekked from Lagos to Redemption Camp. He trekked. He arrived at the camp just as I was about to begin to minister. He woke up very early in the morning, trekked 46 kilometers. And suddenly I saw a little disturbance going on in the crowd. Because by the time he arrived, he was, he was so tired, he fainted. So people were running around, pouring water on his head, etc., etc. So I, I said, what's wrong? Bring the fellow. That's when he recovered. And then he told his son, I'm qualified. I have no job. And I said, I'm coming to God today to iron out my case. When the crowd heard that somebody could trek 46 kilometers to come and settle his case with God, he got six job offers. You should settle your case with God today. Today must be my set time. Are you sick? Today must be my day of healing. Are you lonely? And you have marriageable age. Today must be when God will show me. Have you been failing exams? Today is the day you will tell God, if you have to give me a brand new brain, you have to do it. Today must be my set time. Have you been moving around in circles, stagnant? You have to settle with the Almighty God and say, today must be the day my promotion will become accelerated. Because when your set time comes, even the heavens will stand still until your problem has been solved. Which is why if you are here and you have not surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, that might be the reason why your time hasn't come. And the word of God says it clearly. He said, today is the day of salvation. You can't leave it till tomorrow. So if you are here and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, the first thing you need to say to today is your salvation. So I'm going to count from 1 to 10. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, this is not a day when we beg you. It's up to you. You want to delay your blessings, you want to delay your salvation, it's up to you. But if today is your day, then begin to come very quickly as I count. One. You want this day to be your own set day? Two. Set come out and surrender your heart to Jesus. Our daddy, the Lord, will pray for you. So you can just come forward. You want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ also. Please come forward now. Three. side time comes God will be merciful he will but you must be one of his children five six
seven. Those of you on the way, keep coming. Those of you who are in front, cry to the Almighty God. Today is my day of salvation. Lord, have mercy on me. Save my soul today. Forgive all my sins and make me a brand new creature. Oh Lord, you must have mercy on me today because today is my set time. You must arise and have mercy on me and save my soul. Forgive all my sins, Lord. I must have a brand new beginning, a brand new beginning now. Now we serve you for the rest of my life. And please, the rest of all, let's stretch our hands to our new brothers and sisters and intercede for them. And ask that God himself will have mercy on them. That he will forgive their sins. Yes, this blood will wash away all their sins. God will save their souls today. Those of you who are still on the way, come quickly because I want to pray now for salvation. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Savior. Hurry up, I'm still waiting for those of you on the way. Hurry up. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Savior, I just want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for this very special day. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm thanking you on behalf of this, your children who have come forward. Please receive them, Amen. save their souls, Amen. let your blood wash away their sins. Amen. Write their names in the book of life, O oh Lord. Amen. Let them become children of the living God. Amen. Father, I pray that from now on, the grace to serve you and you alone, give to them in Jesus' name. Amen. And from now on, whenever they cry unto you, answer them by fire. Let it be well with them, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I want to rejoice with those of you who have come forward. I want to promise you, God helping me, that from now on I'll be praying for you. I'm going to need your names, your address, your prayer requests, and the counselors will attend to you in a moment. But I want you to stay here and join us as we pray this prayer. And the rest of us, will you please stand on your feet and shout hallelujah. I want you to pray this prayer as if your life depends on it, because it, it does. I say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
let today be my set time. Set time for healing, set time for prosperity, set time for progress, set time for promotion, set time for joy, for miracles, for signs, for wonders. Lord God Almighty, let this day be my set time. Go ahead, cry unto the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. One of the ways of making today a set time is in the area of giving. When we give sacrificially, let's prepare our offerings, our church project offering. It's not just giving, we'll give with a cheerful heart. We'll give dancing and rejoicing. And as we do so, the Lord will visit us today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Tobet shuku. Ah. Tobet shuku. Oh. Tobet shuku. He has done it for me. Sing Tobet shuku. Tobet shuku. My father. Tobet shuku. I love you, Lord. Tobet shuku. He has done it for me. Sing Tobet shuku. Tobet shuku. Tobet shuku. Even before I pray, Jehovah needs to answer me. To be sure, He has done it for me. He has taken away my shadow, given me victory. To be sure, He has done it for me. Let your voice sing with me. To be sure, good. To be sure, I give him praise. I love him. To be sure, he has done it for me. Ah, what he enemies paid for him. Born a stone in a row. Born a stone in a row. What the enemies paid for him. Born a stone. The Lord God Almighty, what shall we render 
What can we give to show appreciation for all that you have done for us? For your goodness. For your mercy. For your love. For your faithfulness. For provision. For protection. All we have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for bringing us into the fifth month, the month of grace. Thank you for the opportunity to give. Our ah, Father, we ask that you accept us and accept the offering in the mighty name of Jesus. Just as the song that we sang, Father, let there be a turn around in our lives and our situations in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the enemy has planned for evil concerning us, concerning our families. Father, let there be a turn around for good in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall move forward. We shall make progress. No more stagnancy. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is a set time. A set time for promotion. A set time for healing. A set time for deliverance. I set time for enlargement in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask ah, that in every area of our lives, you empower us. We shall not beg for bread in the name of Jesus. Because you are the Lord that supplies all our needs, we shall never lack. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Okay, so if you are happy to be alive, you know, um, one of our ministers who was leading us in prayers today quoted a scripture that I love so much. He said, there is hope for those who are joined to the living. Something about joined to the living. That you are joined to the living. I don't think it's everyone that was alive in April that are alive today. But you and I are joined to the living. And we must thank God. So shall we just rise up on our feet and praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So it's time to thank God. And I want to quickly read the scripture. I want to read Psalm, Psalm 67. I'll read verse 5 and 6. Psalm 67, verse 5 and 6. It says, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. And what will happen? He says, then shall the earth yield our increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. Praise the Lord. I don't know if you, you, you see that. He says, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. And what will happen? He says, then... After they have praised you. After they have praised you. And this praising that we want to praise God today, it's not just because they have said we should praise him. You will go inside and bring out your reasons, your strong reasons for praising God. And if you don't have a reason, it's okay. You can sit down. But that you are life alone is more than enough reason to praise God. He says, then shall the earth yield our increase and God, even our God, our own God, shall bless us. And when our own God blesses us, then we are blessed forever. Because he's the owner of cattle on a thousand hills. He's our God. So this morning, I want us to dance. 
I want us to be intentional as we thank God. So choir, you are going to give us songs that we can dance to. We can rejoice as you bring your offering. Dance, rejoice, be happy. And let our own God bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Is somebody ready to praise the Lord? Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.
you, Jesus. What a season to be alive. Thank you, Jesus. What a place to be. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence. We do not take it for granted. There's so many people who will be sleeping at home who do not have reasons to come. They don't see it as important. But Lord, we are grateful. Because in your presence there is fullness of joy. There are pleasures evermore. Thank you because we have received the pleasures from your presence this morning. We are grateful. We have come with the hearts of gratitude. And we have also brought an offering to you in thanksgiving. Father, please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, please accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for our families. We thank you for all those who are related to us. We thank you for your church. We thank you for our nation, Nigeria. We thank you for our leaders, our church leaders, our political leaders. We are grateful. We thank you for our children. We thank you for our teenagers. We thank you for our youth and our young adults. We thank you for our women. We thank you for our men. We thank you for our elders. We thank you for everyone. We thank you for our businesses, our jobs, our academics. We just thank you for everything, for your provision, for your protection, for the preservation of our lives. Lord, we owe you our lives and we just say thank you. And so, our dear Father, now God, we come in the month of May before you, O oh God. You are the everlasting arms. And the Bible says underneath us are your everlasting arms. And so, Lord, we pray that you will go with us in this month. Amen. You will walk with us. Amen. We will not walk alone. Amen. We will not walk in darkness. Amen. We will not be confused. Amen. Your light will shine upon our path. You will tell us which way to go. And we will hear you. And we will heed your direction. In the name of Jesus. You will cause the lines to fall for us in pleasant places. We will receive favor on every side. And Lord, all that you have created will, will work for us. Even to our advantage this month in the name of Jesus. Lord God, you will send us timely helpers in the name of Jesus. Unrelenting helpers. Untiring helpers in the name of Jesus. Unsolicited helpers in the name of Jesus. Lord, we will hear good news from our farm from near this month in Jesus' name. And it is well with us. This is our set time. Our set time for promotion. Amen. Our set time for abundance. Amen. Our set time for healings. Amen. Our set time for breakthroughs. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There will be no negativity in this month for us in Jesus name. Everything will turn around for our good in the name of Jesus. It will not end the way the devil planned it in the name of Jesus. Only your counsel will stand. Your will will be done. And we are grateful. Lord, when we come back next month, we will come back with greater testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Praise the Lord. So we want to quickly pray for the May children. If you are born in the month of May, please can you come forward? Hey. Uh -uh. Sister Bola, are you May? Uh -uh. Okay, May. Amorawa. Okay. All the May children. Come, come, come out, come out. Uh -uh, that's good. Uh -uh. Hey, our own dear dickiness. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. There are a lot of May people here. Oh. Uh -uh. Hey. Praise the Lord. Uh -uh. That's beautiful. Uh -uh. Our dear apprentice doctor too is in May. Praise the Lord. Ah, uh -uh. that's beautiful. Ah, uh -uh. thank you, Jesus. I want us to stretch forth our hands towards them. 
and thank God for this season, for this time of their lives. Let's thank God for keeping them and bringing them to another year. And let's pray for them that in this new year they will enjoy the mercies of God. That in this new year grace will speak for them. That in this new year everything they touch will prosper. That in this new year the heavens will smile on them. That in this new year the light of God will shine upon them. That in this new year it will be well with them. Everything they lay down and so on will prosper. In this new year they will see the mercy of God and they will enjoy it in the name of Jesus. That they will enjoy the superabundance riches of God in Jesus name. Goodness and mercy will follow them in the name of Jesus. This new year they will go into new territories of God's goodness in the name of Jesus. The world see the goodness of the Lord and they will enjoy it in the land of the living. They will live in health, they will live in wealth, and it is well with them. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Congratulations, my children. God bless you. Congratulations. So, can we just take Daddy? Wait, Daddy, wait. Ah, you will take picture. Uh, let, let me leave your back so that I don't show your picture. Please, can you take the picture? To you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. May the Lord God bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Cut the cake. Ah, oh my God. Eh, cut the cake now. Eh? We will spell grace because it's the month of grace. Can somebody give me the first word of grace? What's the next one? And a super one at the middle. A fantastic one. And the extravagant one. Good. Congratulations. Hallelujah. One more time, let's celebrate May children. One more time, let's go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. We want to give God all the glory for today's service. We thank him for what he's doing in our midst. He will do more for us in Jesus' name. Happy new month, everyone. This indeed, like our Father in the Lord has prophesied, shall be our set month. And this week in particular shall be your set week. And today shall be your set day. Of progress, Amen. of blessing, Amen. of prosperity Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We have some important announcements, and so we'd like you to just please listen attentively. Amen. Amen. Now, the redeemed Christian Church of God understands that there are people who like to come to church very early. There are people who sometimes because of their duties and all of that, they wake up a bit late on Sundays and so they, they want to come to church around 9, around 9 a.m. sometimes. And so there's now provision for people to be able to come at those comfortable times for them. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
And so from next Sunday, by the special grace of God, if Jesus tarries, from next Sunday, we shall be having two services here. Let's clap for Jesus. But promise me and promise God that you won't come late. In whichever, whichever service you choose. Praise the Lord. Now from next Sunday, from next Sunday, our first service will start at 7.30 a.m. Let's clap for Jesus. Our first service for early risers. Praise God. And then by 9.30 we're done. Praise God. 7.30 to 9 o'clock. The first service we end, then we'll, we'll do Sunday school. Sunday school, the people who are coming for the second service will join the Sunday school. So, first service ends at 9 a.m. Sunday school from 9 a.m. till 9.30. So, second service starts at 9.30. Praise God. Did we get that? Second service service starts at 9 30 and that will run till around 10 30. oh till around 11 sorry till around 11. praise god amen. amen is someone happy now so we expect that no one will come to church late anymore because god has given you an opportunity to come at a time that is convenient for you if there's anyone here who comes late to church, maybe you come around 9 o'clock, 9 something, then you can come for the second service. But there are some people who want to come to church very early and do, be able to do other things, you know. You close by 9.30 and just go back home and you're able to rest and then prepare for work for the next week, the, the, the week. Praise the Lord. So please, there's something I'd like you to do for us. And I want you to do it for God. Not for me, not for this, any members of this church. When you are coming to church, whether it is the first service or the second service, please invite someone. Invite someone. Praise the Lord. So I hope to see you 7.30 next Sunday by the special grace of God. Let somebody praise the Lord. And of course, all nine o'clock because sunday school is part of the service if we, if if you were part of the service today the sunday uh, the sunday school you will have enjoyed it we talked about marriage praise god and the topic is for both the married and your married because we know that those who are not married yet they will be married amen, amen. and god is just using this sunday school teachings to prepare you for marriage glory be to god Amen. The elders have their special conference. It's once in a year. They'll be having their conference on the, I think it's last Saturday of the month. Praise the Lord. I'll let you have the date. But I would like the members of this church, the elders of this church, to represent the church. The conference is going to take place at the master's court, our headquarters there, at Lekki. Now, the church has agreed to provide a bus that will take you down there. And also, we have also volunteered because they are going to wear certain uniforms. <laughs> We're in the era of Ankara now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The church will also pay for that. And so everyone that is going will get an Ankara, but you will show it yourself. Praise the Lord. So at the end of the service, please see our daddy, Abolade. Daddy Abolade is here. You all, I'm sure we all know him. Please, camera, come. Daddy, please let them see you. Please wait to see him so that we know the number of people that are going and then we can make provision. Glory be to God. Let's clap for daddy. Amen. Thank you, daddy. God bless you. Then, as announced last week, the medical team will be reaching out to those 
who needs to see doctors and all of that after this after today's service praise the lord so you'll be attended to so immediately after the service they will tell you where you're going to sit i don't know if some people have been giving tallies you want to see a doctor and all of that you want your bp to be checked and all of that that will be done today praise god and i want to encourage us don't say that I do, i'm not fat so i cannot have high bp and i lie it is by checking that you get to know praise the lord and i can tell us the stress in nigeria is much but we thank god for his grace so please seize this opportunity to see the medical team and do a checkup and then you can also talk to the doctor god bless you as you do so in jesus name you're not going to pay for the service praise god god has, jesus has paid for that one here yeah. <laughs> amen now on thursday by the special grace of god we're going to have our communion, holy communion service here holy communion let's clap for jesus The Holy Communion service is a special service. And I don't want you to miss it for anything. Many times as you partake in the communion service or as you partake of the Lord's table, healings take place. Miracles, takes, uh, miracles take place instantly. So I don't want you to miss it. Please join us on Thursday, 6 o'clock, uh, 6.30 to 7.30 by the special grace of God. Then we have our fellowship centers all across Lagos. We have about seven centers. I don't have the list here right now, but I think the media can help us. So, if you live close to any of these uh, locations, please join the house fellowship uh, between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. every Sunday. 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. You see, someone told me a long time ago that a little here, a little there, a man of a child of God is being a man of God is being made. As in, you get more here, you get more there, and then by the time you add everything together, you become rock solid for God. Amen. Praise God. And let me also say that in this assembly, we need more workers. Don't just come to church and just sit down. You can see the church. We need more hands. There are several needs in the church. Please, if God is speaking to you, you want to be a part of the workforce of the church, please wait and see me or any of the ministers immediately after today's service. We will talk about it. Amen. I know there's somebody here, there's someone here who's not comfortable just coming to church and just sitting down and then go back home like that. Be useful to God. Amen. We have this announcement from the children's church. We want to appeal to parents to ensure the children have their meals or snacks before service, before giving their giving them snacks, meals during the service this distracts the other children during their studies. Please let me make sure we give our children their meals and their snacks before service so that they won't distract others during their when they are uh, teaching them praise the lord amen amen, amen. amen. let's rise up as we take the closing prayer hallelujah yes we have a set of wonderful people that we have not recognized i'm sorry for that please let's take our seat let's take our seat we need to do that. If today is your first time in this assembly, if today is, God bless you, brother, if today is your first time in this wonderful uh, assembly, please raise your hand. Let's see. Let's go see your hand. God bless you. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, sister. My brother, God bless you. Please, let's rise up. Take another step of faith. Rise up. God bless you. People of God, let's welcome them. Let's welcome them warmly. Let's welcome them. Let's, brother, it looks like it was. Please come forward. Just come forward. Come, come, come. Let's go. God bless you. Very, 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 very,
your hands to our brothers and our sister here. Pray that the almighty God will indeed visit them in a special way this week. That today indeed shall be their set day for miracles, for God's blessings in the name of Jesus. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. In the name of Jesus. Pray for them. As they have come today, God will do something unique in their lives that they will never forget. That the day they came for the first time into Shaw's assembly, that God visited them. This shall be their testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Please, brothers and sisters, please turn and look at me. We want to say we love you all. We want to thank you for coming today. The Almighty God will bless you for coming. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know and I know that after today you are no longer a visitor. You will be the one welcoming visitors here. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And please don't make today the last day that you come. Because God has just started something new in your life. Amen. And if God is laid on your heart to do something for God in this house, see me after the service. Amen. The Almighty God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I assure you, your coming today is marked in heaven Amen. for favor, Amen. for miracles Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, the card that you have been given, please fill it appropriately and then put your correct phone numbers so that we can reach out to you to appreciate you for coming. God bless you. Amen. Thank you. At the end of the service, one of our ministers will see you briefly. Please go back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for them. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's rise up as we take the closing prayer. How many people believe that God can turn around their situation this day and this week? And this month? Our Father in the Lord has prophesied it. That this week, this day, this month is our set day. It's our set month. It's our set week. Depending on your own faith, I want you to lift up your hand and pray and say, Father, let this will be my set week. My set week for positive change. My set week for miracles. My set week for miracles. My set week for breakthroughs. My set week for abundance. In the name of Jesus. Whether you are looking for a job, you are looking for employment, whatever it is. This is your set. We go ahead and begin to pray. Begin to declare it. Father, this is my set week. This is my set month. In the name of Jesus. This is my set month. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you need to take it. We are not praying. We are not praying. Take it by the force of prayer and faith. In the name of Jesus. Male prado sakata labra koskata labra. Rege de boca sata la prado skataba. Oh, this is my set month. It is my set day. It is my set week for deliverance, for divine visitation. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. If you are not ready to pray, I'll just close the service. But I think it's an opportunity for you to ask God for what you want Him to do for you. I want you to pray. Say, Father. Father. Oh, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, this week, where there is no way, make way for me, in the name of Jesus, make way for my family. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. This week, Lord, where there is no way, make way for me. Where they say there is no way, Lord, make way for me. You are the one that open it and no man can shut. Make way for me this week. Make way for me this week in the name of Jesus. Make way for me this week in the name of Jesus. Make way for me this week in the name of Jesus. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I heard this song in my spirit. And that is going to be your testimony. We are going to take it. We we'll sing it. Choir, you will help me. Everybody will sing the song. And we we'll trust God in the name of Jesus. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Go ahead. Turning around. Everybody sing it. Sing it with joy. Believe God. That things are turning around. around. Turn around for your good this month. I say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everything will turn around for your good this month. In the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. Where there is no way. Where men have said there is no way. This week as you go. The Lord will make way for you. The Lord will make way for you. In the name of Jesus. This week is your set week. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your set week for miracles. Your set week for progress. Your set week for open doors. In the name of Jesus. This week the Lord will visit you. He will visit you. You have a divine encounter. In the name of Jesus. As you go, you are coming back with testimonies. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare this shall be your best week yet. This shall be your best month yet. This week and this month, go and prosper. Go and prosper. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Amen. May you enjoy great peace Amen. and the protection of the Lord Amen. throughout this week Amen. and throughout this month. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I declare every weapon fashioned against you, none shall prosper. Amen. Every enemy that rises against you, they will fall for your sake. Amen. The Lord will fight all your battles for you. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's take the anthem. Please. We are ready, my. We are ready.
share the grace and fellowship. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Love of God. Fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shh. The Lord will go with you this month. Amen. You are coming back with testimonies. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please go in peace in Jesus' name. Timers, please wait for one of our.